Okay, uh, so actually, before we start, I want to bring this stuff to attention. Links in the description and all that. Stay safe! Hello everyone, it is your resident, um, NB Toka Gremlin, I guess. And I just wanted to make a very loose, very disjointed, unscripted video, so you just get, you know, the full sunny, I guess, or whatever. Anyways, I mean, I- whatever. Anyways, um, so Gav recently premiered its first episode, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, talk about it loosely because I thought- I have thoughts, I guess. <laughs> A lot of them are pretty positive, if you can tell. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is va only vaguely scripted. I only have, like, a few bullet points to work off of, so... All of this is just gonna be said as it goes, so... Um... Oh yeah, if you can tell as well, there is a speed paint in the back. I am drawing a reimagining of... Um, the gummy boy himself, Comrade Gav. Um, this footage was a pain in the dick to, to like, deal with. But I'm not gonna get into that, because this is not the video for that. Anyways, um, so let's just chill and get to the meat of the video, which is the Gav premiere. So, like, yesterday, as of recording this, um, Gav premiered its first episode on, on the superhero time block, which is... I decided I don't usually watch superhero time that often like maybe like um, now and then it depends on how I feel but for most part I just tend to like um, not watch it and watch it sub like later on in the week after it releases um, so this was one of those times, I mean, it's a premiere, so of course I've gotta stay up with the boys and like, you know, just chill, relax, and like fucking watch the actual thing live. I didn't know what was being said, like, obviously, I don't speak Japanese, believe it or not. Um, I, well, I don't speak Japanese, so I didn't understand anything, but it was still like an enjoyment, it was still like a fun experience. There's something about, like, watching things with friends that, like, you know, makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> but that's not to say that, like, it wasn't, um, good on its own. Because, like, again, I watched it subbed later on my own, and it was just as fun, honestly. I really enjoyed it, and I love, like, managing to pick up on smaller things that I didn't notice, um, when it was airing live. So, uh, yeah. Man, as a season, I'm very much, like, in love with, like, the vibes that, um, Gav kind of gives off, um, it feels silly, it feels, like, kind of serious, it feels kind of batshit, like, it just feels like all of those things, like, all of the above mashed into one, and I'm kind of here for it. I love, like, Shoma, I love, like, the Gochizos, the fucking monster design, at least for the monster of the week this go-around, was so damn cool. It, it, it's all very creepy, and it's also, like, you know, um, there's stuff about the story that I'll get into later, but, like, design-wise, I am very excited, because, like, I'm, like, obviously, like, I was keeping up with the leaks, so... I know what a lot of, like, the starting out designs are. I know, like, what some of the forms are. I know what the secondary looks like. Um, but all in all, though, um, the designs are really fun. I love, like, the candy just feels like such a weird theme to go with for a um, writer season. I mean, it's not the first time we've had, like, an edibles um, edibles, okay, no, food themed season. We've had Gaim in the past, um, but, like, I guess this one feels more, well, actually, it doesn't really feel, like, completely food, because it's, it's, like, food and another thing, because with Gaim, it was, like, fr fruit and warriors, and with Gav, it's, like, what, um, candy and aliens? But, yeah, that's besides what. 
I find the designs really interesting. I always, f I weirdly kind of like the idea of like the, the like belt actually just being an organ on Shoma's like stomach. Like that is just another a second mouth on his stomach. <laughs> um, I just think that's kind of neat. <laughs> I it's a little weird, but I don't know. I I really like belly mounts, stomach mounts as like a character design thing. And that's like, and that makes um, a lot of the fan art I've seen really cool. <laughs> but um, again, we're not gonna get into that. Um, now, story-wise, story-wise, I really found, I really did, again, very much. I, I feel like a lot of this is me saying like, I really enjoyed this, I really liked this, but like, come on. I, it was a fucking episode, man. <laughs> um. So, but yeah, the story is like, it starts, it's a pretty good set the stage um, thing. I do like how it just kind of lays a lot of the cards out on the table, like, hey, our guy, our protagonist is like running away from the um, big bad team and like the big bad, t and like, yeah, oh, by the way, the big bad team are responsible for like his mother going missing. And there are connections there, and like all of that. I always, I, my favorite in thing that like detail that I saw um, was that like his mother said to like never eat the dark candies. And because of that, I've seen a lot of people say like, oh, this is going to be like maybe a berserk form. I don't know if they will do a berserk form it's far too early i mean it's the first episode so it's like literally way too early to be guessing that but like but i'm mean, anyways yeah it's too early to be th um guessing like if there's gonna be a berserk form because again first episode in life but like i could see it honestly it could be something that they're like setting up in the background that winds up you know becoming something big in the long run which, I mean, to be fair, the dark candies are how the, um, monsters of the week happen, so I'm not surprised. By the way, am I the only one who thought the fucking, like, guys handing out the dark candies look like drug dealers? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm the only one, but, you know, they do kind of got that drug dealer drip. <laughs> and, like, I guess the way they hand out the candies does not help at all. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I have this in, in the, in like the bullet points of the script. This thing is in all caps. It just says the fight scenes. Oh my God. The fight scenes. Um, I don't remember who the, um, action director is, but apparently he worked on Geats, but like, oh my God. Um, uh, I don't care about that, but like, oh my fucking God. The fight scene in this was fucking like incredible. I really love just like, <laughs> like even like before the first henshin, like there was something that just felt so like oomphy about like Shoma just trying to fucking beat up the monster to no avail, only get like you know decked in the face back. Um, but then like he's kind of like on the level on level with like the monster after like transforming, and like. It, and like what comes up after that is really cool like this okay everyone's brought this up but like the cargo crate scene like the part where they like prop up be in between and they're just like propped up there and fighting and like oh my god that is cool like the action director that that was cool the suit actors holy shit y'all are built different <laughs> It was something. The CGI chase was also actually really surprisingly good. It's clear that they've kind of learned um, how to do this sort of stuff over the years. Like with um, King Oger, for example. One of my favorite um, Sentai seasons. Not like I can say much because... Uh, King Oger is another discussion for another day. Um, but base, but like CG-wise, like it feels like they have been like learning... And it feels like it shows that sort of pay off, so it pays off. It shows um, through um, that chase scene. 
I don't know, I just think it's really, really neat. <laughs> um, but then, like, the finisher part is really cool, too. I like- I- I mean, I don't think it's the strongest of, like, the entire fight scene. At least I don't find it the most memorable. That fucking, like, crate scene is, is probably the most, um, memorable part of that fight to me. But, it was still all around really solid, really fun, and, you know, all in all, a pretty damn cool, um, first episode battle. And I'm hoping, like, that kind of continues on throughout the season. Because they've been, like, recording this since, like, um, Wind's debut in Gotchart, I think. Like, Kamen Rider Wind, Fuga. Um, so, um, they, I think by now they've had up to the winter movie recorded, so hopefully they've had plenty of time to, like, you know, make things look mwah, perfect. Or at least really sick. Um, anyways. So, I guess more or less other things to talk about. Um, so, what am I looking forward to? Um, I'm not really sure, honestly. There are a few things that people are speculating, like the Pudding Rider, which um, some people are saying, oh, the girl might become the um, Tertiary Rider, which kind of back to the formula of having, like, you know, female Tertiary, female other miscellaneous Rider, uh, which I don't hate. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna go out of the way and say I don't hate that. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I like Rene. <laughs> and like the fact she was the first female secondary. It was like pretty damn cool. But anyways, anyways. Um, if like she does, if the girl does become, I don't fucking remember her name. I'm so sorry. I am not looking anything up as I go. Um, I don't remember her name, but like if she does become the um, pudding writer. Or does become like a tertiary writer full stop. That'll be pretty neat. Um, I am pretty Yeah. Um I'm excited to see like what they do for like a crossover. I wonder if it's gonna involve the legend Gachizos, because like um in the end of Gotchard, we were kind of shown the Kugo one that Legend gave to Gef. Um I thought, so I'm wondering, like, will something come of those, or will they, like, show up in a special or something, or, or is it just there to be there? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because <laughs> God knows it is way too fucking early to be, like, um, guessing, I feel. Well, I mean, I guess you can still guess, but whatever, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Again, this has been a very sloppy, sloppy shit video, but I just wanted to, you know, sit down, um, be as upfront, be as, um, you know, unedited, unfiltered, I guess, as I can at the very least. Um, so, if you guys- I don't know if you guys will want more videos where I'm just, like, sitting like this, where it's, like, I guess, stream-like with recording, I guess, would be the best way to say Um, speed paints, yeah. You know, if you guys will want something in- more, like, in this vein, maybe sim- maybe the same thing, maybe similar but not the same, um, do let me know, cause this is fun. And while you're at it, like, let me know, like, what did you think of the Gab premiere, like, let me, like, let, we can have a discussion. Just, please, for the love of God, be civil. I don't want people, like, thrashing each other for, like, liking or not liking it. <laughs> you know? I don't want to be the person to advocate for that. Or, like, you know, sit back and let that happen. But, anyways, anyways. Um, if you want me, um, let's have a discussion. Um, let me know if you want more of these in the comments or, like, something like that in the future. Because honestly, I love doing speed paints, so this will be fun. But anyways, I am like doing this for way too fucking long. So um, here's the finished piece. Um, I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Um, take your meds, drink your drink, and uh, goodbye, goodbye. Yee! Oh, uh, I don't have anything for the outro transition, so... Um... Quick outro step!